And this one is my own personal pick of the week. And there's a few reasons for that. I think this game looks like a lot of fun, but it also just innovates in a way that I've never seen done before in a board game ever. And I think it really uses this innovation to tie into the theme really well. I think it all just ties together for a really amazing package that really creates an experience that feels thematic to the game, but then also presents a lot of decisions and puts players in a position to really think about what they want to do on their turn. That can just be really rewarding when you just line everything up just right. And the theme of this one is one that I'm a huge fan of because it's all focused around nature, but more specifically, this is a game all about photography, which just on its own is not something that I've seen explored too much, so it's nice to see some exposure here. Pun intended. But the way that this game works is that there's going to be a few different layers to the photograph that you're trying to create. And the first layer is that you're going to be trying to incorporate the board in various ways. So the board is actually broken up into a few different environments. So you might want a specific environment when you're trying to create a picture. But then within each environment, there's going to be different features and forestry and animals that players are also going to want to consider when they're trying to line up their shots. And each player is going to have their own photographer miniature that they're going to be moving around out on the main board. And of course, to line up your shots, you're going to be trying to get in a specific spot so that the things that you're looking for are all lining up with respect to that perspective. And this is where one aspect of the innovation really comes into play here, because in order to move around on the board, you're going to be using these special tools. And these tools are going to hook into and then rotate on your character miniature. And you're allowed to rotate it however you like so that the end of that tool lines up with a location on the board. And then when it's somewhere that you are comfortable with, you can move your character from where it is to that point on the board. But there's a few tools here and one thing you're not allowed to do is to try the different tools to see which one gives you the best outcome. So you're going to want to probably pick a few locations out on the board that you think you might be able to get to and then estimate which tool will get you there the best. But of course the different animals are not just going to stand around as you're moving around and making all sorts of noise and getting within their line of sight. So your movement can also affect where the different animals end up moving out on the board, which is something that you'll also want to consider. But once you've gotten to that location on the map that you think creates that perfect Kodak moment, you're actually going to be using another tool that represents your line of sight, depending on the types of lenses that you're using on your camera. And these tools will also hook into your character miniature, but then rather than moving your miniature, you just use them to determine where different elements of the map are located within your frame of view. You can see how this tool is used here in this image where it fans out from the character miniature. And then there's two holes in the tool and these represent different areas that you're trying to line up features in order for them to be in the proper position in your photograph when you go to take that photo. And a really fun aspect that goes along with this is that whenever you take a photo, the game also provides different cards for the different backdrops and different tokens for all the different features and animals that might be within your shot. And you're going to be taking the ones that were in your shot and then combining them to represent your photo and bring that photo to life. But to get as much points as possible, players are going to be trying to create a panorama. This means that you're going to be attaching all those photos that you create together side by side. Whenever you create a new photo, you can decide which side you put that photo on. But you'll want to line this up so that each of the environments in your panorama are beside the same environments that they're beside on the main board. So I think you can see what makes this game so much different than a lot of games out on the market right now. Not only that, but the artwork looks incredible. And if photography is a hobby of yours, or if you've ever tried it in the past, I think this game's gonna do a really amazing job emulating that feeling of trying to line up your shot in various ways and get into that position that you're trying to get to in order to try and get the perspective that you're looking for. And just for me, photography is something that I do have a lot of experience in. I'm no expert by any means. And just as I was reading through how this game plays, I could really feel those moments that I had in the past because even in the real world, when you're thinking of, I'm gonna go over there and get this shot, it doesn't always line up or things don't always feel the way that you expected when you get there. So there always is a bit of estimation going on and rolling with the punches and trying to create the best photo with what's presented to you and trying to use the lenses that best portray that. And especially when you're taking pictures of animals or anything where you can't guarantee their cooperation, you really have to be careful with the way that you move around them, which makes it quite difficult to get to the spot you want while also hoping that the thing you want to take a picture of is still in the position that you want it to be in. Really great work here, and there are a ton of different games with themes that I love, but there is only a few games where I really think the theme is spot on with the game's design, and I think this is one of them. Just like a great photo, it's not always easy to line everything up, but I think they executed on this one really well, and I'm excited to see more, and I will definitely be checking this one out myself. And if you feel the same, I have links in the description below.